Hello everyone! In this video, I will show you how to get a nice planetary environment for your experiences with Planet Studio. So let's begin. Planet Studio app is located in the north quadrant of the compass. From the search apps bar, search Planet Studio and select Planet Studio app. The help panel is displayed by default. It shows the navigation controls, keyboard to move, and mouse to look around. The app uses a specific planetary navigation, allowing to zoom from space all the way down to pebbles on the surface. In the panel, there are also some predefined places of interest that can match your scenery. Let's try the oil rig. Click on it and fly there. That's a nice place. I will immediately create a favorite location to save this view by clicking on the plus icon and double clicking on the name to rename it oil rig. On the bottom left corner, I can change the time by double clicking on it and scroll up and down. And then press enter when I'm done. I can also click on it and change the time by moving the slider here to adjust the sunlight. And I can change the date too. Let's choose today. After changing the date and time, I should update my location to keep these settings. So I do a right click on the location and select update. Now if I open the Tools panel in the Essentials tab, I can modify my environment settings. First, I will rename my environment and save it. In the Quality section, I can choose my visual quality profile from low quality with high performance to very high quality for high configuration. I will stay with medium quality here. I can also adjust the shadow distance for my scene and its quality. Color grading sets a nice visual tone. Let's keep this one. In the display section, I can display decorative elements. I have water on my scene, so I can use this slider here to change the wind strength on the water. I can see the size and speed of the waves growing stronger. If I want to go to a specific location, I can enter the coordinates in the geocoding section and then press the Go button to fly there. It's dark. Let's put back the default color. I have a nice view here. I'm going to create a new location, double click on the name, and rename it Mountain. I can display more visual elements from the Tools panel. So let's add some trees. And grass. This looks nice. I will update my viewpoint. Now I can also add some fog. To create and display fog, I go to the Essential tab and select Fog. The fog panel shows up. To add a fog effect, I click on the Add Fog button, and then I click on the terrain. I can adjust the fog density by moving the slider. This little icon moves the viewpoint to reframe on the fog. I can select the fog by clicking on it and change its location with the manipulator. I'm going to zoom out and get a better view. This is what it looks like from above. OK, let's go back to the ground by clicking on the location. If I want to modify the terrain surface, I can do it with terraforming. Let's find a spot to do it. I'm going to hide the fog for now. Over there's a nice place. To shape the terrain, I go to the Essential tab and select Terraforming Zones. The Terraforming Zones panel shows up. I click on the Add Terraforming Zone button, and then I click on the terrain. A zone indicator appears. I can make a circular zone with different parameters. Or a rectangular zone. Let's rotate it a little bit like this and change the elevation value, and the smoothness value too. I can flatten the terrain surface by unchecking Level Terrain, or I can keep the terrain details by unchecking Remove Displacement. This looks nice. I'm satisfied with my environment, and I can save it. Now I will open Creative Experience app located on the north quadrant of the compass. 
From the search apps bar, search creative and select creative experience app. To insert my planetary environment, I go to the search bar and query on PLA colon star or planets colon star. Then I right click on the environment and select insert in experience. Let's zoom out a little bit here to see our scene. The fog is covering everything. If that's okay, I can hide it. My planetary environment is located under the environment section. In the properties view, I can uncheck fog to hide it. Let's take a look at the terraform terrain. Here it is. In the properties view, I can also show or hide the clouds or any other visual elements like the trees. Now I'm going to insert a chalet into my scene. From the search bar, I query on PRD colon chalet, and then right click on my product and select insert and experience. Let's reframe on the chalet and reposition it to the terrain surface. I have to rescale my object here. and move it like this. And that's it. We've created and inserted our planetary environment inside our experience.